Hello, it's Sarah, and I'm in the basement, and this is my little shabby chic area that I was just, well, I told you about on my lace share video, my lace haul. Um, I got this bookcase. You know, I've, I've watched a lot of your shabby chic, milk glass, all that type of videos, and a lot of you guys have really cool cabinets that you've refurbished from thrift stores and things like that. But I had gotten this little um, bookcase, and I just love the lace around it and thought, you know what, that'll be good for my shabby chic area. It has, it has four shelves, and for now, I don't know how much more milk glass I'm going to get, um, so we'll see. Um, I could always, like, as of right now, I just squeezed it in there. I'm going to redo, um, I have, anyway... It's going to get less cluttered. I'm going to move some of this stuff, but let me just talk about what I've done here. So I put a few, like I put this, I'm going to try and move and not make everyone sick, but I put that canvas there. I had that for forever and it's like shabby chic. It's like one of the only shabby chic things I've ever done or shabby-ish. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sniffing. Um, then that's the... Um, frame that I just did the share with, but I had like a few little things that were, could be considered shabby chicish. This is a Mariposa paper stack birdhouse that I never really did anything with. So I think I'm going to put some laces on it and kind of finish it off. But I had this mini album that kind of matched it and stuff. So that, I just put that stuff there, but here's my milk glass. So I had that little Sarah canvas I did too. And you can't even tell it says Sarah, but it looked shabby enough. <laughs> I want to redo something like that and make it a little easier to read. But this is the lamp. Okay, here's the lamp. The $5 lamp that I bought. We, My husband rewired it. And it's awesome. It works. I think I put like a $25, a $25, 25 watt bulb in there. But here you go, you guys. Tell me what you think. I did this with a pewter paint. And I'm thinking I want to change it back now. Because I... I didn't want brass upstairs. I knew that. I knew I didn't want, because we don't really have any brass. I have more like wrought iron and um, pe like, pe not pewter, but um, it is kind of like pewter, but it's like brushed silver. It's like brushed silver. So that's why I picked that. And this actually looked like crackled on the can lid, but it didn't come out. The first layer came out crackled, but then it didn't come out crackled. I don't know. It might've been too cold out or something when we did it, but um. I, I mean, it looks brand new. It looks, for five bucks, I'm so excited. That is super cute. So, um, it's a little crooked. Come on, get straight there, mister. Anyway, um, this is just some, this is like a runner that I got from Kmart. And so I just put a few, like, of my little shabby chic stuff around. This is from a, it was a bed skirt that you get. Uh, you know, around the bottom of the bed, and it was from um, the thrift store. I think I paid four dollars for it, and I got—I still have tons left. But I cut these apart, these little doilies, out of the only on one section of it. So I was doing that. I've been crocheting too, so I'm going to share what I've been crocheting because I'm making like tons of flowers and a bunch of stuff. So on this, that's the first shelf. I put these candlesticks I've had forever, so I just put them in there. And so this shelf, I just have like. This is an art I make. I just thought it looked kind of shabby chic, so I put that there. And then I went to a, a thrift store in Summer's Point. I got two more pieces, three and three. So now I have the pear and the strawberry. And so that's on that shelf. And I have to put all my baubles and bits and things in everything still. And then I figured I'd put my stick pins um, out too because they're sh like the most shabby chic things I have, like these little... The mugs, you know, has roses on it and stuff. Oh, I have two more of these upstairs I got to bring down. So that's that shelf. And then the bottom shelf, I really love this frame. This is when I was doing the, um, like, stained glass and stuff. I made this um, mosaic at a mirror. And I think I'm going to put, like, a piece of mirror in here, too. And just make this all mirror. Because I, I just think it's cool. I think it's shabby chic looking. Definitely. I mean, even though it has the black trim, um, because you know what, like this is, uh, sorry, stained glass that I, I made this little stained glass box and that has like, um, I guess it's like a dark pewter trim thing there, but like there's black one here. This is just a little, I'm going to finish this. I'm going to put like some, 
um, three-dimensional flowers on there and finish that off. That just has stick pins in it. And then um, matchbox and some more stick pins. So that's all my shabby, really, that's like all my shabby chic stuff right now. I don't really have that much, but um, I'm excited. I think it looks cool. Oh, there's my, um, my magnet board that that's lacy and stuff and then I have like this is like one of the only other when I very first started crafting I made this this is um one of those Tim Holtz configuration boxes and that's when I first first started crafting and I was collecting all like the clearance jewelry and everything I did a share for that a long time ago but that's like that's it for shabby chic stuff for me I don't really have that much because I just I didn't have laces like the good laces and um, but anyway so that's it I'm pretty happy though I think I think that's like the perfect little shabby chic start to um, for me to start collecting so I hope you guys like it all right thanks for watching